<laughs> hey everyone, this is Cliff, and you are watching Cooking with Cliff on the YouTube channel. We are taking our show on the road today. I've actually um, come out to my sister's home in the suburbs, and we are hanging out by the pool all day and relaxing. But we have an amazing menu. We're going to cook outside on the grill today. We're having a pineapple cilantro um, fish, a grilled fish. We have Brussels sprouts with lemon butter sauce, and we also have garlic bread. And my sister has put together a beautiful caprese salad with tomato and mozzarella and fresh basil. Um, we'll put together a little bit of a baby spinach salad as well. So you get a lot of greens in this, in this dish, really, really healthy. And I would like to introduce you to my sister. This is Laureen. Hi. And her husband will be home soon and he'll be able to enjoy our meal as well. So stay with us. I'm going to show you all of our ingredients and what you need for each, um, each dish and then we'll show you how to prepare everything on the grill and uh, pretty much everything is on the grill except for our cold caprese salad and our spinach salad so stay with us and uh, we'll be right back hey everybody this is Cliff again and I'm going to show you how to prepare the, uh, the Brussels sprouts with lemon butter before we start anything else because this is going to take a little longer on indirect heat on your grill so what you want to do is you want to take a nice big sheet of tin foil and you want to make an envelope out of this and the way to do that is to fold it in half and then you're going to crimp the sides together like so and just really get it in there nice and tight turn it around do the other side Crimp it really well. And there we have an envelope to throw our Brussels sprouts into. You can actually crimp up the edges a little bit more just to give it a little bit more security so it doesn't open up on you. All right. So now, what we do is we take our Brussels sprouts that I have cut in half, and you're just going to pour them right into your, oops, pour them right into your envelope. All the leaves and everything else right in there. So now that you've done that, you're going to take your butter. And you just want to drop that into there. It's been sitting out for a little bit. So it's a little melting already, but it's going to melt in there anyway, so I don't really care. And I take about a half cup of lemon juice as well. Let me pour that right in. This is fresh lemon juice. I don't know if it's up to you guys if you want to use jarred or not. I prefer fresh. So now, everything's in there. You're going to crimp this edge up. Make sure that everything stays in there. All of your juices stay in there. Cut it nice and tight. Crimp up your edges again. Then, once you have your package all together like that, you're going to come over to your grill and you're going to put it on an indirect grilling rack. So I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to close this up and we're going to let that cook for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. It's going to basically steam cook itself because the moisture from the Brussels sprouts is actually going to dry itself out. It's going to mix in with the lemon juice and the butter. You can turn it a couple times during the course of the uh, 30 minutes just to make sure all the uh, butter, the lemon butter melts into and sweetens up the Brussels sprouts. And then when that's about halfway through, I'm going to show you how to mix up your um, pineapple cilantro sauce on the inside stove because this grill, um, the side uh, thing doesn't work so well. It's only burning on one side, so I need to do that in the inside. 
and then I'll show you how to prepare the fish as well, all right? Stay with us. So here we are inside my sister's kitchen. I'm going to actually show you how to make the uh, pineapple cilantro sauce. First, you're going to take a medium pineapple, and you're going to peel it, core it, and then cut it up into one-inch chunks. You're going to need three-quarters of a cup of unsweetened pineapple juice, two tablespoons of lime juice, two garlic cloves minced. You're going to use one tablespoon of jalapeno peppers minced. You're going to use two tablespoons of fresh cilantro, cut up nice, minced. Then you're going to need a little bit of like two tablespoons of cold water and about three tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm sorry, one tablespoon of cornstarch. What that's going to do for you once you mix all those other ingredients together, you're going to actually use that to thicken your sauce. And then also you're going to use a little bit of um, uh, sea salt and black pepper to season and a little bit of equal or artificial sweetener at the end just to kind of sweeten up the, uh, the sauce a little bit and then just to take away some of the sourness and it actually gives a little bit of extra punch to the flavor and then you pour that over your grilled fish. So I'm going to show you how to prepare that in just a few minutes um, on the stove. Um, like I said, I'm, I couldn't do it on the grill because the side burner wasn't working so I'm going to do it on the inside of the house so bear with us. Okay, so where we are, we're going to make our pineapple cilantro sauce. So you're going to take your pineapple chunks and you're going to throw those into a nice big saucepan. You're going to incorporate your pineapple juice, unsweetened. Your lime juice. Your garlic, your jalapeno pepper, and that's good for now. So what you're going to do, and you're going to put the cilantro in after you get this boiled down. So. We need to turn our heat on. We want to bring this to a boil. Alright, so now once you get your ingredients mixed together in your in your saucepan, you want to bring it to a boil, which it is, and then you're going to reduce your heat to low, and you're going to let it simmer for about five minutes. And then you're going to put in your fresh cilantro, and then you're going to let that boil for another minute or so, and then you're going to take it off the heat, you're going to mix together two tablespoons of cold water, one tablespoon of cornstarch, mix that into a little bit of a paste, um, I usually use a fork to whisk that together, and then I'm going to incorporate that into my sauce, and that will create our sauce for our fish, our grilled fish. So I will show you how to do the grilled fish in just a moment, and I'll show you what a finished um, pineapple cilantro sauce looks like, okay? All right, so now that I've taken my first part of the ingredients for the pineapple cilantro sauce together and brought it to a boil, and then I reduced the heat for five minutes and let it simmer, I added my cilantro, fresh cilantro, minced cilantro, in with that, brought it back to a boil, took it off the heat for a few minutes, I put in my cornstarch and water mixture so that it actually helped to make it a consistent, um, a little bit thicker consistency, and then I brought that to a boil so you can see that it actually brought it to a nice thickness, so when I pour this over my fish, it's going to have a nice consistency to it, but before you do that, you're going to take three or four packages of equal or some type of sweetener um, I prefer not to use sugar in this dish you mix that right in and that's just going to help to cut some of the uh, acidic value from the pineapple and give a little bit more sweetness to it 
You can also take a little bit of salt and pepper to season. So I'm going to throw in some sea salt. A little bit of fresh ground black pepper. Mix that in. And I'll tell you, this smells so good. I can't wait for everybody to try it. Oh, marron. Boy, that's good. All right. So, now we're going to leave that on the stove for the time being while we go and prepare our grilled fish. Um, so, join us outside. And then we'll bring everything together at the table and you'll see how everything is going to play out. Okay? Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to prepare your garlic bread, or at least the butter for the garlic bread. So you can take about a one and a half cups of butter or margarine. Um, I'm using butter just because we're going to be cooking it on the grill anyway, so I think a lot of the fat will get cooked off anyway. So you're going to cream your butter really well. And use it is wooden spoon, you can do it in a food processor, a food processor, a mixer, however you want. So once I've got that in, I'm going to add in my garlic, about three, three cloves of garlic, about a quarter of a cup of parsley, or three tablespoons of dried parsley. Then we're going to have a, a quarter of a cup of Parmigiano, um, Parmigiano cheese. I'm going to mix that right in. And you're going to make that into a, a butter paste or a margarine paste. So that when it comes time to actually spread this on your garlic bread, it's going to be all melted together nicely. You can see how delicious that looks. So now we have our garlic spread already prepared. And when it's time to put this on the grill for the garlic bread, which only takes about one to three minutes on either side. So it'll probably be one of the last things we do. I just wanted to show you how to prepare this. We will spread this on our garlic bread, uh, or our French bread that I cut on the bias, so they're lengthy. And that way they're easier to deal with on the grill. You put it, spread it on both sides, put it on the grill, one to three minutes, depending on how hot your grill is. You can go on the cooler side of the grill if you have one side that's hotter than the other. Use the side that's not so hot. And then grill it for one to three minutes, serve it immediately, and then uh, enjoy your meal. <laughs> so here we are at the grill. I have a piece of tin foil down I'm going to be using as my fish grate. You're going to spray it with a little bit of Pam or some type of cooking spray. So your tin foil is lightly coated with a nice oil. And then you're going to take your fish. And you're going to lightly brush it with a little bit of canola oil. I'm going to lay it on there. I want on the skin side down. fish is on the grill and we're ready to go about three to four minutes on each side but before I turn it I'm actually going to paint the upper side with a little bit of the canola oil as well so when I go to turn it that side is also oiled as well so we're going to cover it up bring it closed and we're going to let that grill for about three to four minutes okay so I've taken my Brussels sprouts off of the uh, indirect heat come on over here I'm going to show you what to do so you got your foil pack here. You want to be careful when you open it. You're going to tear it open. But be careful because when the steam escapes, it could actually burn you. So I 
I've opened it up. Now be careful. There we go. Now the steam has escaped. You're just going to pour it into your dish. It smells delicious. It looks delicious. Garnish a little bit of lemon. That's ready to go. So there we have our Brussels sprouts with lemon butter or margarine, whatever you prefer. You can put a little salt and pepper on there. Um, a little uh, fresh ground coriander if you have that. It's a delicious meal. Um, I hope you enjoy it. There'll be more stuff coming out in just a minute, okay? So here I have turned my uh, fish once I painted the top of the fish with a little bit of oil and I turned them over. You can see it becomes a little flaky. It's hard to stay, keep them all together. But for the most part, if you cut them in half, it's easier anyway. So in the future, I have learned something new. So those will be cooking for another two minutes on each side. I mean, on this side. And then we're going to transfer them to my serving platter. And then we'll have everything put together. All right. So I want you to come over here and show, and so I can show you what to do with the garlic bread. Now that the fish is just about done, we're going to open that up. You're going to paint both sides of the bread. Where, or with a spatula or your wooden spoon. And you're going to put it on the indirect heat. Put it this way. One more piece. All right. Our fish is ready to come off. You be careful so it doesn't all fall apart. Like that. <laughs> Try to keep it intact. Some of my fish is falling apart. It doesn't mean that it's overcooked or anything like that. It just means the tin foil doesn't always work as good as a fish grate, but I don't have one. So we use tin foil today. In the future, I'm gonna have to go and find myself a fish grate to cook on, because it'll be so much easier than to have my fish fall apart. But it's all going the same place anyway, so who cares, right? All right. So here we have our garlic bread, and I'm going to actually take that off of the grill and put it into my, my bowl. And I'm going to put that on the table, and it'll be delicious. So join us in just a minute while I, I show you how everything looks like on the table. Thank okay, you. Okay, so here we are. We have our fish, our grilled fish. This is our pineapple cilantro sauce, which you spoon over your fish. Then we have our fresh French grilled garlic bread our Brussels sprouts with butter lemon sauce, and our caprese salad with tomato and mozzarella, fresh mozzarella, buffalo mozzarella, and fresh basil. And then we have just a simple baby spinach salad with a light vinaigrette to go on top of that. So, bon appetit, and more good cooking coming soon. Maybe when he's watching TV. Yeah. <laughs> How is it, everybody? Delicious. Awesome. Don't you love that sauce? Yep. Jake, what do hey, you think? I've had better. <laughs> hey, hey, thumbs up. Very good. Mmm. Olivia's pineapple is delicious. Off on camera, by the way. I don't have a fork, so okay. I can eat it. So I only keep the bread. This is Scott Herman, and he is going to eat my delicious meal. 
I'm gonna, gonna be forced to eat it. He's gonna tell you it's delicious. Forced to eat his delicious meal. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you very much. I love fish. Is this what is this? Is pineapple? Yep, pineapple cilantro sauce. Cool. Mm. Thanks for paying attention earlier. <laughs> I was sleeping on the couch. I know. How was it? Oh, it's good. I Jake, what did you say about my Brussels sprouts, Jake? Best I've ever had. Awesome. Is this a Brussels sprout? That is oh, a Brussels sprout. So Where will you try it? You like? It tastes like seaweed. <laughs> 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 okay, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, take it you easy. You really don't like it? <laughs>